President Trump's travel ban on several countries was upheld by the Supreme Court last week. Amr Zar is a professor at the University of Detroit Mercy School of Law. He says that ban is nothing more than white supremacy. Bashar joins us tonight. Professor, thank you for coming on. Um, thank so you. So how is it white supremacy, that ban? Well, it's basically the continuation of Trump's rhetoric, but it comes from the whole ret history of uh, sort of white supremacist immigration law that we've had actually since the founding of this country. You had to be white in order to be naturalized from 1790 until 1952. And so that was the law for the vast majority of the history of this country. And what Trump is trying to do is go back to that with many laws and especially with this Muslim ban. What, 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 year, what year were you born? What does that matter? It matters because I bet you probably weren't born too much before 1965. And since then, we've had about 90% uh -huh. of all immigrants into this country have been non-white. Now, that may be a lot of things. That's not white supremacy. So that's over no, 50 years no, you, it, of 90% de of the immigrants are non-white. It's not white supremacy. Sure. It's like... It's de anything but no, it's that, definitely, right? It, it's definitely true. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. What Trump is trying to Trump is trying to stop that, right? What Trump is trying to do is to stop the brownification of America. That's what he ran on. He ran so what, what on sort of the anxiety what, what percent, of many I, white I, Americans I, 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 that this on. country is becoming more diverse. Okay. So uh, before you make generalizations based on race, which is, you know, is itself racist, let me just ask you what percentage no, white, so it's ten, a little less than 10% white now, okay, our immigration uh, breakdown. What percentage would Trump like to get it to to achieve this white supremacy that you're barking about? Sp please that, be specific. That's not the point. You seem to know a lot that's about not the this. point. Oh, it is very much the that's point. That's not. No, no, it's very much no, the that's, point. You just accused no, him what of white supremacy. So you just accused him of white. No, well, slow down. You accused him of white supremacy. So why don't you be specific and explain to me what that would look like? What percentage white is he trying to get well, he, our immigration numbers to? He told us what it would look like when he was in the Oval Office and he called black countries, s-hole countries, and why can't we get more people from Norway? He told us exactly what he was envisioning, he right? Didn't, when he, he didn't when he wants to stop, countries. when he wants to... No, you yeah, were a demagogue it, we, it, who is not actually... No, he didn't. He spoke. He said specifically to specific countries, not all black countries. But I'm just asking I didn't say you, all what black is his countries. plan? Like, I didn't say all black countries. Black I countries. said the countries that he okay. called... Yeah, the countries that he called as all countries were black countries. And then he said, why can't we have more people from Norway? We don't need him to be mm. explicit, right? He's, it's clear how okay, he's talking. So, so it, how it's would clear. He, when how he tells he do, us that clear. Islam it's hates clear. us, and when he tells us that he wants to ban all Muslims just because he writes an executive order that seems facially is, neutral is, doesn't mean Islam that he's race? not actually Hold exercising on, that intent. Was, wait, okay, so Islam is a race now. Is that what you're saying? No, no, you're no I'm not, I'm not white saying white supremacy. No. What are you saying? I mean, yes. I don't actually even understand well, what case, you're saying. If the, this is a the, white supremacist the case, country, the case, with a the, white supremacist leadership, why are Africans moving here in huge numbers? The, Why do you the answer KK, that question? The KKK, well, the KKK was white supremacist, but they told us they hated Catholics and Jews, right? White supremacy takes on many, many roles. What? And yes, Africans and other the people KKK. come here and contribute greatly. But what we have well, I mean, now I wouldn't deny is an immigration that, but hold on, wait, just answer, hold on. answer one question before you make another stupid generalization. A specific question. Sure, go ahead. If this is a white supremacist <laughs> country with a white supremacist I didn't leader, say that. a white supremacist Supreme Court. I didn't Court. say it says white supremacist country. You said it, we have a white country. supremacist as a president, and you said it's That's a white true. supremacist Supreme Court. Yes. Okay. Why no, I didn't say Africans we have a white supremacist Supreme Court. Want to move the decision was was moved animated by white supremacy. You said, why would sure. Africans want to move to a country run by the a Muslim white supremacist? Okay. Look, this country it, still it, look, Islam this is country not a still race. has a lot I don't to know. offer. Do you guys take English? Okay. No, no, no. But why would they want to move it, it, here if it's a white supremacist government? Honestly, no, like this, are they this insane? No, this, this country, despite the policies of Trump, this country is still a great country to move to. But Trump is trying to reverse that. Trump is trying to say, we have too many people here. He's blaming, blaming non-whites for the problems of poor white Americans. And that's just, that's how he won, right? And we know that he played on these things. He told us he played on these things. He told us he played on these things. I mean, you're, you're giving him more credit just, than can, he deserves. Can you be specific? You're trying to put giving, words I'm into his mouth that he didn't Trump. say. What I'm asking I'm you about. is someone who I'm is making reckless...
No, no, no. I'm only then talking about you, I'm going to give you one clear. more chance. It's so frustrating to talk to someone as dumb as you, but let me just try to put, pinpoint what you're saying. <laughs> well, you're purposely, listen, Tucker, I know that I'm you agree with Trump's white supremacist policies. I'm not purposely doing anything other than trying to get to the truth. I okay, know off, that pal. you it's want this country to moron. Ah, stop. It, it's, they're actually going crazy. You want to have like a reasonable conversation and you can't. <laughs> white supremacy. It's too frustrating. Ah. Up next. A pair of transgender athletes just dominated the girls' high school track championship in Connecticut. Do biological boys have an unfair advantage? What do girls think of this? It's a complicated and actually pretty interesting topic. And we're going to break it down next.